Hello my emotional Smurfs and Smurfettes, welcome back to another YouTube video with moi. Alright, so today I'm going to be doing my pet peeves, or things that just annoy the crap out of me. So I'm going to be making a list of things that drive me bonkers. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Alright, so number one, the first, my first pet peeves are people who are hypocrites. Like, hypocrites just drive me insane. Like, when people say like they don't like something or they don't like a certain way people do something and then they do it themselves and I'm like but you just said you did <laughs> that just drives me crazy because like if you don't like that then why are you doing it yourself like <sighs> okay pet peeve number two okay when people tell you they're gonna call you or text you like the next day but then they don't that just happens to me a lot and it just like if you tell me you're gonna call me or text me I'm expecting a call or a text so then I spend all day like keeping my phone with me like oh somebody's gonna be texting me so yeah just stop it okay just stop my third pet peeve is when people chew with their mouth open and they're just the food is going between their chompers their chompers and like they're just making the nastiest noise and you can just see all the food mushed up in their mouth and it's like a, a, it's like oh it's just so gross my fourth pet peeve is 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 when you're watching a movie and the person is talking right beside you and is just talking about stuff that's completely irrelevant from the movie but then like five seconds later they'll ask you oh what did I miss or like what just happened and I was like why were you talking about something else watch the movie if you want to watch <sighs> if you want to know what happens in the movie then watch the movie and stop talking about what your sister was doing yesterday for dinner okay like I don't care I don't know what number I'm at anymore, so I'm just gonna keep going through my list because I've got quite a few. Sorry for that terrible interruption. I was filming my video all by myself and I was home alone, I thought, and then all of a sudden somebody comes walking in the door. All right, he's joining me. All right, so my next pet peeve that I would like to discuss is, uh, all right, so this is kind of a weird one, but the word or like the sentence or the, the phrase pet peeves, why does it have Anything to do with a pet? I don't understand the pet. Why is there a pet in the pet peeves? And peeves. What does peeves mean? That is such a freaking weird word. It's like poltergeist. I don't like it. Disturb. It's bothersome. Annoying. Pet peeves. Things that irritate me a lot include the word pet peeves. One of my biggest pet peeves, which is kind of like a small thing, kind of but like it just drives me up the wall. Is, <laughs> up the wall? Yeah, shush. It's when people think that they need to buy Instagram followers. Like they are paying money that they earned to buy people who don't actually care about their content to like their content so other people see, oh my God, that person is fire mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you buy followers? Like, I'm not gonna buy followers because I want to have, if I have a large number of followers, I don't want to think, oh, that's because I bought my followers. I don't want to think, oh, I earned those followers, okay? It's not because, okay, it's just, <sighs> don't buy your followers, that's so stupid. <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Okay. I bet you like you all have these people like at your school or something, but like when people who like know they're attractive or like they just have really nice faces and really nice hair and really nice clothing and they just look really nice in pictures and they just post selfie after selfie and they're like, oh, I woke up like this. <laughs> oh, this is the ugliest picture I've ever seen of myself. Or, ugh, no makeup, hashtag no makeup. That's just bull. Like, you say all this stuff and you're like, oh, I'm not pretty, but all you want is people's freaking compliments, and you just do that, and it just drives me crazy! Okay. My next pet peeve 
is when people say, oh my god, we should totally hang out, like, if you haven't seen them for, like, years or months or something, or, like, you never hang out and you're like, and they're like, oh my god, we need to hang out, and I'm like, yeah, sure, for sure, for sure, whatever, and then I'm like, call me or text me or whatever, and then they make absolutely no effort whatsoever to, like, hang out with you, and, like, they seemed so into hanging out with you, so it's just like, were you faking that whole thing, or, like, did you just forget about me, I'm that boring, like, ugh. Why do people do that? I don't know. It's so annoying. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I believe this is my last pet peeve, but the last pet peeve I would like to discuss with you is when you are telling a story. And it's got it's a good story cuz you're telling it, right? Like, I don't know. I'm I'm always that person who's like in a group and everybody's telling stories and then I hear a story and it reminds me of a story, but then I'm kind of like too shy to like tell my story because I'm just too shy but when I finally get the guts up like I get all filled up with all these guts up to my head and I'm like boom I'm gonna tell my story so I start telling my story and then someone else just starts interrupting me and telling their story which like isn't even that funny or anything and then by the time they're done they're like oh sorry what were you gonna say and then I forgot, and I'm just like, never mind, and I just feel so down, and I'm just like, Ugh, you can just let me finish, I was like, I was, I was almost there. You could have just wait one second to tell your story. You made me forget mine. The struggle dude. Yeah. Please let me know in the comments down below what your pet peeves are. Say it down below, dude. Down below. Down, down below. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up, and like I said, comment your pet peeves down below in the comments. In the comments, which are down below. And press subscribe, which I believe is either over here or over here. Go check me out on Instagram if you haven't already, at emotional underscore smurf. Brothers, gotta love them. Thank you all for watching. If you press subscribe after this video, Welcome to the family of Emotional Smurfs, where I'm your queen Emotional Smurf, and you are all my little Emotional Smurfs and Smurfettes. Can you say, can you go like this? Bye guys. Bye guys. Can you say bye guys? Bye guys. Woo!